Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vivian, and I'm back again with another video. You guys, I just uploaded a video like a 6 a.m. college morning routine for you on YouTube. So please do have to watch my vlogs and help me get the views that I deserve or I desire so much I can be motivated to actually post because YouTube takes a toll on me. I'm not even gonna lie, it's so hard trying to create nowadays with everything that I have going on. But, anyways, today I'm back again with another video and I'm gonna do like a productive sunday research routine because today is sunday and i just came back from church i think you can see by the feet yeah i'll probably upload the picture that i took today in church but yeah i tend to get most of my things done today and some things i'll just be procrastinating i'm gonna do them today first off i want to go to the grocery store and get my fruit when we get back home i'm gonna do a little reset and clean my room and i have a haul for you guys i was also thinking of getting a frame to put my posters in because if you are doing i recently ordered like posters from temo and it just arrived so i need to get that i get to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please guys subscribe to my channel and join the family you already know it's good vibes right here like i'm just gonna head now to the grocery store and i'll see you guys when we get there so to those come along with me let's go <laughs> I'm just headed now to the skincare aisle. I want to get a pimple pad and we're gonna head out because I really don't want to take so much time with Superstore. I'm right now with Superstore. I'm gonna be headed now to check out. Have the command strips i came here to get i just feel like this is a waste of time because this is like one of the most important things in my list i'm gonna look if they have an alternative if not i'm gonna leave and figure something out because i can't be stressed right now stuff for grocery shopping is actually so this i want to get most of my fruits here and we'll head out to value village to get our frame i'm honestly so exhausted already and i'm barely doing what we have to do for this video uh Jesus, give me strength for you. I'll do that three, four times again. I testify for you. I told a lie. I kill that bitch. I do with all of them around you. Scared to do. I'm not. Long as you're jugging, not it for me. I got it. My best scheming, looting. Hide your bodies. Long as you're dreaming about me. Ain't no problem. I don't got nobody. I'm with you right now. Tell the truth. I look better under you. I can't lose when I'm with you. You. How can I snooze and miss the moment? You're just too important. Nobody do body like you do. Can't lose. So I don't want to have grocery shopping now. I'm headed now to get my frame. Hopefully, I see the one that actually suits the dimensions of the poster. And yeah, we'll be back home to do other things. I do body like you do. Sex remind you I'm not violent, I'm your day one Hi guys, we're back home right now. As you can see, I was so tired. I just removed my clothes and my wig and we're back with the hair. But anyways, I plan to also lose my hair and wash it to braid it maybe sometime this week. I'm just going to go ahead now to put all the groceries I got in their right places. And I want to do my laundry and give my room a thorough cleaning or a mouth cleaning. Don't, don't play with it, don't be the Still not understanding this logic. I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up I wanna get you better Maybe it's whatever Somebody gotta step up Girl, let somebody so next up Be damn if I let catch up It's easy to see that you're finna I am on a whole nother level Girl, you only f***ed over cause you let him Girl, I guess you didn't know any better Girl, that man 
hand and show any effort Do all I can just destroy it, it's special Certainly show love that holds me together Hey, can you say he been killing the vibe? Gotta be sick of this guy, pull up So yo, while my clothes is in the laundry I decided to do like a little haul for you guys A little Timo haul for you Cause I ordered like my last set of decorations from Timo And it got here last week So I decided to like do a little haul I already unboxed it as you all can see here But let's just, let me just show you guys what I got So first up we have poster i honestly i don't know my intrusive thought just told me to get a poster because i really love the wording on this it says like this is a vibe i love being a black woman it's just like women empowering women i don't know when i saw it i felt led to get one for myself and i even bought one and i didn't think of a frame to put it in you understand like i bought a poster after taking off a frame like am i plan to just hang it on my wall i really don't know but this is what the first one says and this is what the second one because like three posters this is what the second one says it says a very yeah a very blessed girl and that is the goal like that is my prayer for me that I'm going to be blessed in every way possible. And same for you out there. And lastly, this one is just a girl, a black girl, as you can see, cleaning her tears with money. And you guys, if this is not your goal, then I, I don't know what, what your goal is. Because this is definitely the goal to be rich enough and successful enough to use our money to clean our tears. <laughs> When I said that, I was like, girl, this fig volume, so I got this, it's like three posters. So I went to get the frame, like you all saw me, but honestly speaking, it was a fill because they didn't have any frame that matches the length and dimensions of this poster. And the only one that they had was so expensive. Like, why is one frame 19 over $20? So I'm going to get like three, which is $60. I literally bought these posters for less than $10. So was it $10 I got it for? Like, it was so cheap. So why is the frame so expensive? Like, three times is more expensive than that. I don't know, but I already thought of returning it if I don't see a frame that's too much it. Only I got this flower. It's like fake artificial flower. Because I really want something to, you know, put in my room and give it a pop of colors. I'm kind of going for a pink and gray highlight for my room. So I decided to get the flowers in pink. And I also got this white base to match it. I'm going to do a whole video, like, on my TikTok. So if you're not following my TikTok, you guys, be sure to follow my TikTok at all around Vivian, like, literally on every social media. So I got this and this to put it in. Got this humidifier and honestly speaking, the website was deceiving because when I saw it, it didn't look this small. If I had seen that it was this small, like, it is literally so small. If I had seen it was this small, I don't think I was going to get it. Because when I opened it, I'm like, what the hell? This is not going to show. Like, it's not going to be obvious on my desk, which I plan to put there, but... We're going to find our way around it and make it work. Then this has to be the most exciting purchase ever. I got this, like, this name, LED sign. Yeah, this is what it says. Hello, gorgeous. I really love this. I honestly wanted to get this in my name. I've been planning on getting one in my name for so long. Like, I wanted one that says all around Vivian, like, with a love. And you guys, it is freaking expensive. I wanted to get one in Amazon, and it was over 180 to $200. And I'm like... All right, Vivian can wait. Like, I think <laughs> I'm gonna wait it out and get this. So, I got this one, and this was like probably around $20. So, it was way cheaper than the one I actually want. And I really love this. I can't wait to actually put this in my room and for it to brighten up and for you guys to see. So, y'all, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel so when my room tour is up, you'll be the first to know. So, that is actually all the things I got and that is geared towards my room. The other things I got were not like for my room, just basic and random stuff. Like, so, yeah, that's all we have for our mini Timo haul. And right now, I'm just gonna start cleaning up my room while waiting for my laundry to be done so let's clean the room because everywhere is a mess as you can see i see how the mess i made since morning when i went to church so let's clean it up I just finished cleaning my space and this is what it looks like it's very clean right now and i don't know if you can notice but it's literally 10 p.m i used the whole hour and talking to my friends i talked to my dad so i was away from the camera for so long but anyways we're not finishing today without doing the major thing in my list that's to be cooking i want to make jello fries and chicken so i'm going to film that for you guys let's just go and start cooking our jello fries so come along with me let's go <laughs>
I just started to wait like extra two minutes it's gonna be done soon because i want the water to dry properly and anyways yeah our rice is done and you can already testify it's gonna bang because i cooked it anyways let's just save it <laughs> Let's do a taste test, a quick one. Hi guys, good morning. Um, yeah, happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian resident immigrants, whatever. Today is Canada's Thanksgiving. And yeah, today is the day I'm going to wash my hair. As you can see, I'm in my robe. Yeah, I woke up. Cause I was so tired yesterday. After I was done cooking, I went straight to bed. So I woke up very early this morning to loosen my hair, and I'm about to give it a good wash. Cause as you can see, I have a lot of new growth. I have dandruff and so much dirt. So I'm going to give it a clean wash. This is like the last part of today's vlog productivity. Cause honestly, from yesterday to today, it was a lot to do. I was so productive. Like I'm so happy. I like almost checked off everything in my to do list for yesterday. But yeah, I just want to. Show you guys what I used to wash my hair before getting to washing my hair. This is my shampoo that I used to wash with my hair. In case any of you are wondering what I used to make my hair grow, I feel like with my hair growth, it's kind of hereditary because everyone in my family kind of have hair, whatever. But this is what I use. I use the Sheer Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. If you want to know, castor oil is very good for hair growth. Just saying, this is not a tutorial or anything. I just want to tell you guys what I use for my hair in case any of you are wondering how I have. This much hair. I also like to go in with my biotin's root stimulator. I usually use this sometimes before I wash my hair, like a pre pull pre shampoo treatment, and it's very good. I love the scent so much. And I also use the amla oil. If you have not heard the magic of this oil, then I don't know. I really don't. I've been so inconsistent with the oil because it has a very pungent odor. It has a very bad scent. Like for me, I really hate the scent. So amla oil is also very good. But one thing I've noticed that I think it's kind of hides the skin because whenever I use it, especially on my forehead or my front hair rather it kind of gives me acne around that area so it might not be for you but i feel like my skin is sensitive to this so i try to limit this to just the back of my head and the middle of my hair my indian colleague at work like also my friend you all already know indians with hair but like she has a lot of hair and her grandma makes it in india so she shaped it and she gave me some so i also use this too before i shampoo my hair which i'm going to be using all this three tints now before i shampoo my hair and i would like to do it for like 20 minutes <laughs> So 
guys, I just finished washing my hair. And can you all notice the shrinkage that goes with natural hair? Like, can you guys see how my hair transitioned from puffy to this? Honestly speaking, when you wash your hair, if you have natural hair, you can relate to what is going on here. I would love to end this video on this note. I want to go ahead now to blow dry my hair and probably see if I could make it myself. If it is successful, then I'll probably post like a snippet or a picture for you all at the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming with me to do my to-do list and being productive with me. I hope you all stay productive and have a blessed week. Have a blessed day. And bye from this side. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Mwah. Speak to me.